Hello everyone, welcome to Lime Guru channel. In this video, we will learn about Docker installation platforms where you can install Docker. So let's get started. So let me write down here the concept that uh, what we will going to learn in this video is Docker installation support supported platforms. So uh, I just want to make one disclaimer here that in this video, you will not learn like how to install Docker it's not a step by step guide for doing the docker installation but rather you will learn something here that where all docker can run and when you uh, install docker on any platform and i'll talk about the platforms also which all platforms are supported for docker then what what does it contain what does your installation contain so we will discuss about each of those con concepts uh, in this video so, um, so let me first tell you that today Docker is supported on three major platforms. So let me write down here three major platform. First is my um, Windows platform. Second is my Mac platform. And third is my uh, Unix uh, or Linux platform, Unix or Linux platform. So you can install your Docker on each of these platform and when i say windows it could be either windows uh, desktop or it could be windows server so both are supported uh, for your docker installation so you can go ahead and download docker and install on any of these platform windows mac and unix so when uh, when i uh, when we download docker and install docker so what does docker contain do docker uh, uh, docker uh, majorly contains two uh, two things one is the docker con client docker client and second thing is the docker server and docker server is also called docker engine so some somewhere you will read about docker engine somewhere some people will say docker server so both are same things docker engine or docker server so these are two things which comes as part of your docker installation and what is the difference in between so docker client is basically which gives you some cli commands C command line <laughs> it gives you command line interface where you can run your uh, docker co docker commands as a client and those commands internally communicate with your docker server so client you will provide certain uh, cli commands uh, and through those commands you will interact with your docker server or docker engine and all of the action would be happening in the background on the docker server or docker engine so docker client you can think it of as a gateway to your docker server or docker engine and what version of docker client or docker server is installed so there is a command let's say there is a cli command only which is docker version so if you run uh, once you have installed docker if you run docker version then you will get two things first is your uh client version and second is your uh server uh, server version so you will get both versions uh, what version of client is installed on your system and what version of server is installed on your system so this 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 is about docker version command now going back to the supported platforms windows platform mac platform or unix platform so when you will install uh uh docker on on a windows platform so in that case your client will have it will have a windows native application it will be windows native application uh, for your client and by default the server would be uh, linux native so all the contain so all the containers whatever containers are created within docker so those are created within server so the server technologies when you install on a window let me write down here on a window machine when you install it could be window desktop or a window server when you install on a window machine then the client would be uh, windows native only so that all the command line commands which you will run on your windows system should work uh, natively as a windows command but the server behind the scenes is a by is by by default a linux native server so it it will use the linux uh, linux container technology behind the scenes and that is abstract to you you don't get to know anything what what matters to you is that you need to create the containers you need to run your application code within your containers right so now behind the scenes whether it's happening in linux containers or it's happening in windows container that doesn't uh, 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 that is abstract to you 
but let's say you don't want linux containers um, behind the scenes you want specific windows container only there is specific functionality or within a specific code which runs only on windows container only it cannot run on linux container so you build some some uh, windows uh, native application which can run only on windows servers only so you can change the server also so by default when you install docker it comes with uh, linux native server but this linux native server can be changed to uh, windows native server also so there is a support for both uh, linux native as well as Win windows native when it comes to windows uh, windows specific in, 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 uh, installation for your for your dockers right so uh, it, but the client remains windows native because the command line you have to run you have to run the windows so those commands should be understood by your windows platform so that that was about the installation on the windows side uh, now let's talk about the mac what about mac for dockers right so now again for mac also you have uh, one client and one server right so now when i talk about uh, mac when you install docker on mac then uh, when when i run a when i install a client so it is then mac os native because client again client is something where you need to run the using which you need to run your docker command so it has to be os os native and then client talks to server now for for mac the server only comes as a linux native server only it, it only comes as a uh, linux uh, linux containers it runs behind the scenes and uh, uh, this is something which docker docker support that it um, this mac os um, the, this native mac os commands communicate with the linux uh, linux containers in the background through through some pipe or through, through some connection that is that connection or establishment uh, connectivity is abstract to you it's seamless and you don't get to you don't need to set up anything for that it's it's by default connected both uh, the mac os native client is connected to your linux container so whatever type of containers you can run uh, on this um, on 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 mac behind the scenes uses uh, uh, linux containers only so you can run the applications which can be supported on 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 a linux operating system on a linux platform only those applications you can run as part of your container applications when you are running a docker on uh, Mac operating system and the uh, last but the most widely used is the uh, Linux uh, uh, Linux uh, operating system so this could be your uh, application server it could be your local machine whatever whatever uh, type of server it is so again it has a client and it has a server so now when it comes to uh, client it is a Linux native so all the commands are supported through uh, uh, supported through a Linux interface and server is again uh, it's Linux native. So all the containers that you will run are going to run whatever are supported within the Linux container. So both are both are Linux when it comes to the Linux uh, Linux platform and this is the most widely distribution which is which is today used being it in cloud being it, being it in your uh, on any uh, production environment so in the in the production environment this is the most widely used distribution which is used today because most of the apps runs um, apps are supported on linux today but there are specific apps which runs on windows server only so those specific apps can be used uh, for this uh, with this type of setup where the client is windows native and the server is windows native that can be that can be uh, this particular type of docker can be used here so I hope you get the idea in this video what we talked about. So we talked about uh, there all the installation platform supported for Docker. It, it, Docker you can install on Windows, Windows Server, Mac, Unix, Linux, and Unix Linux is the most widely uh, distribution with where Docker is used today. Um, and then we talked about that it that Docker installation consists of a client as a, and as well as a server. Client is something where you will run your commands and those commands uh, will internally communicate with your server where all of your containers will run as part of your server technology and this client and server support different uh, different types of native connectivity when it comes to Windows, when it comes to Mac and it comes to Linux. So all this we discussed in this video. I hope this concept is clear to you and again this is not a guide that how you will install docker on your system but this give you a uh, fair idea that on what all platforms uh, docker can be supported and when it's installed what type of 
underlying native connectivity, underlying containers, type of containers it is using behind the scenes, right? So this is very useful information. I hope you like this video. Do share it with others and do subscribe Live Guru channel. Thank you.